This is a 3D printed pinhole camera. A few months ago, after buying my 3D printer, I was quite curious and I printed many many things. And one of it was a pinhole camera. The printing process was quite straightforward. Just different parts, different colors, up to your liking. And here is a pinhole which I use a thumbtack and a piece of aluminium. The assembly of the pinhole camera was quite straightforward. So the first roll I put in was a Fujifilm Across 2 100 ISO and I went about town just to see if I could capture long exposures of people walking around. As you can see the results are quite interesting. images are not particularly sharp but it does show some movement which I'm kind of happy I went ahead then to load up a Fujifilm C200 for a change. Most of the shots are taken 5 minutes or more. The shots came out quite interesting. I love how the colors look. Um, maybe it's just a film stock. The long exposure definitely bring out a very unique look. At this point, I had to rely a lot on my phone to get the right exposure and you know to set the timer. It rained for a bit and I kind of like it because you know it brings out the glow or you know the reflection of the ground. And on the way back from the train, I purposely hopped on to the last carriage so I could take this long exposure. And I quite like it. The last shot, I walked home and I know that this particular hotel has this red neon light. And since it was drizzling as well, I was hoping it could give a very nice look. Which I think came out alright, but I couldn't really see the hotel sign. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, do subscribe and give me a like. But that would help out in this channel. I am currently building another 3D printed camera. I'm still waiting for the lens to arrive. Um, we'll see how it goes. So thank you very much. See you in the next one.